doing a density style cardio workout today. What that means is we're gonna be doing a lot of moves together to get our heart rates going and get a lot of work done at once. This is all going to be body weight, so let's get started. So for our warm up today, we're gonna to be doing our half kneeling hip flexor, tucking our hip underneath, pushing our hips forward, squeezing your glute, really feeling that stretch to the front hip flexor, and then go ahead and switch sides. We're gonna do eight of these on each side. Moving into our, our glute bridges, we're going glute bridges next, so pushing through our heels, squeezing our glutes. Make sure you tuck your back flat first. Squeeze your glutes each time as you come up. Okay, eight of those. Next one, we're gonna go into our open half kneeling stretch, so we're gonna go knee over your toe, drive your knee out, feel that stretch through your inner thigh. Operation inner thigh is operation thinner thighs, that's what I like to say. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides, same thing, other side, drive that knee over your toe, hips stay forward, shoulders stay forward, knee goes out this direction, feel that inner thigh stretch, eight of those on each side. Next one we're gonna do is our, um, our opening up of our shoulders, so elbow comes open, elbow comes in, and then open. So notice nothing is happening in my core, everything's happening in my shoulder, feeling a really good stretch to my shoulder, you're gonna do eight of those on that side, and then eight on the other side. Next one we're gonna do, it looks like a downward facing dog, but it's really our pipes. So drive your heels into the ground. Everything comes forward into your plank position. Back into your pipes, drive your heels up, and then forward and back. So driving those hips up towards the sky, and heels go down. All right, we're gonna go into our, our last few exercises of our warm up, our reaching up to the sky getting as tall as you can, alternating lunges. So I want you to do eight of these on each side, so alternate, and then we're gonna go into our squat stand, reaching our arms up, eight of these, back, back, up, up, press through your heels, squeeze your glutes, and then back down. Down, down, up, up, press through your heels, squeeze your glutes, and then back down. So we're going here, I want you to do eight of those as well. So that's your warm up. Now we're going into our workout. I have four different exercises for you. I'm going to do each of these exercises 10 times, and then you're going to rest, okay? So we're gonna go through the whole circuit, each exercise eight times, then I want you to rest for a minute and a half. Then you're gonna do this two to three rounds. If you're really pushing for it, you can do four. All right, so first exercise is gonna be a squat. So feet a little wider than shoulder width, pushing our hips back towards the back wall, sinking down into your heels, Pressing up, squeeze your glutes, and then back down. Squeeze, and then back down. Squeeze, and then back down. Okay, 10 of those. Moving into our push-ups. So push-ups, these either can be done on a bench or on the ground. I'm gonna show you on the ground today. When you do your push-ups, I want your elbows to come to a slight Y, okay? We don't want our elbows out here. That's gonna put a lot of stress in your um, shoulder joint, so elbows come to that slight Y. So coming onto the floor, we're gonna lower our body down, elbows come to the slight Y, and then press up. Elbows come to the slight Y, and then press up. Also remember to push out of your thumbs as well, okay? So we're gonna do 10 push-ups. Next one, we're gonna do a forward and back lunge, okay? So this is on both legs. So you're gonna go reverse lunge, and then forward lunge. I'm getting kind of close to you. Reverse, and then forward. So you're gonna go 10, so this leg is your pendulum. You're gonna go 10 forward, 10 back on that leg, and then you're gonna go 10 forward, 10 back on this leg, okay? So forward, 10 back, okay? Last one, we're going back into our plank position, and this time we're doing what I call a renegade row. So we are touching our hip, elbow comes back, alternating sides. Touching our hip, driving the elbow back each time. So I want 10 of those, on each side. You're gonna go through each of those exercises 10 times through. You're gonna rest for a minute and a half, and then you're gonna do it two to three to four more rounds, depending on how you're feeling. So if you like this workout today, and you try and you love it, go ahead and follow me at Kim Kloster on Facebook, or at Shine Fitness on Facebook. You can also follow me on YouTube at Kim Kloster, and I will be giving you tons more workouts. I have a new workout every Monday. Super happy you're here. I really want every woman in America to know the power of strength training. So, so glad you're here.